Replicable, highest good, sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 223. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 223, July 2nd, 2017 edition. And today, I'd like to talk about replicable, highest good sustainability. What the heck is that? What is highest good sustainability? Well, let me tell you. From our perspective, highest good sustainability is sustainability that is created with the intention for the highest good of all life on our planet, humanity included, of course, and the planet itself. This is what you see happening in the background and everything that's going on on the screen right now is our best attempt to create for the highest good of all life on our planet, to do the best that we can to create an open source and free shared and replicable model of highest good living, highest good food, highest good energy, highest good economics, highest good education, highest good and fulfilled living models, as well as truer stewardship. And putting all these things together as a replicable highest good sustainability model that anybody can implement in their life or modify for their own needs. And we believe that if we create to the best of our ability with the highest good of all life on this planet in mind, that we really can't go wrong. That it's a foundation that can be built on for personal needs or group needs, community needs, city needs, for any need that somebody desires. And because it's built on a foundation that was designed with clear intent for the highest good of all life and all of humanity, that it will be better than something that's not created with that intent. And it will most likely be a good creation, a good contribution to humanity, a good contribution to this world. But our real goal is to bring together others with the consciousness for the highest good of all, to collaborate and cooperate with us, and to create a global collection, a global collaborative of people working together to also create highest good creations and to open source and free share those creations so that people can evolve and adapt and modify and replicate and duplicate and implement those things in the ways that they would like to, to most benefit their own lives. And we believe that if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And the idea, more specifically, the complete and most comprehensive version of the idea is a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub designed specifically to help people create additional teacher demonstrations, communities, villages, cities, and hubs. Also, for the purpose of reputable high good sustainability. And in this way, if we can demonstrate as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, which means as a way of living that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now, we believe that the idea will spread virally like anything else that is easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough. And everything that you see happening in the background on the screen here, being replicable and open source and free shared, is purpose to be a foundation for project launching other ideas that we hope are also for the highest good. And we are interested in partnering and collaborating as we build one community, and as we open source and free share all the details for exactly how much it will cost to replicate every component, either, either individually as a complete or as the complete teacher demonstration hub, how much labor, how much time and energy it will take to replicate every component, either individually as a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, and exactly what is involved in the challenges that we ran into and how we solved those challenges and, and everything that we did to create what it is that we create, and then open our doors as one community, invite people from around the world to come and visit and experience everything that it is that we've created so that if they like what they see, either as an individual component or as the complete model, they can take that and replicate that anywhere else in the world. And if they'd like to be a part of the open source free sharing and creation process, then we'll work directly in collaboration, cooperation with them to improve these models, to expand the ideas, to see what other adapt adaptations and modifications they come up with so that we can add that 
to the global cooperative, collaborative, and suite of open source and free shared resources to make it even more attractive and even easier for others to replicate so that we can compare the results in other countries and other environments to our results so we can compare and make the whole system more efficient over time and objectively gather and share data on how everything works so that replicable highest good sustainability becomes not some alternative to the way that we're living but so that it becomes the foundation of the way that most people are living and human ingenuity and creativity takes that idea and runs with it in the ridiculous diversity of directions that is necessary to meet the needs of the majority of people on this planet so that we can, for the first time in the history of humanity, create a truly sustainable civilization using the technology that's available and bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all so that we can work together and create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what one community is doing. This is what we invite people to participate in. And this is what our all volunteer group is about with the ultimate goal to live and demonstrate what it is that we're doing. And most importantly, demonstrate that sustainability is not just food, energy, and housing, that there's an evolution of sustainability that includes high good education, high good economic models, true earth stewardship and fulfilled living practices that can also be replicated. This is what we see as the foundation for solving all of the greatest challenges that humanity is facing right now. The obvious ones are starvation, lack of housing, lack of energy infrastructure, but there's also a major problem right now with depression, with social injustice and inequality, with education standards failing, with resources concentrated in countries without a way to bring those resources to other countries and help in a way that is clearly a win-win. And we think this is the solution. We think that if we can demonstrate this model is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, that it's really attractive to take this model to other countries where it's more affordable, where there are less regulations, and to be able to build in those countries where there is some of the most beautiful places to live, but people don't even know where to start. We'd like to create that starting place. So this is our idea of replicable highest good sustainability and open sourcing and free sharing that. And what I'd like to share with you now is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. We're an all-volunteer team, and here's one week of our progress and accomplishments working on everything that you see happening here in the background, a lot of things that you don't. Let's check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, completed the final review and added the new search engine for the Earthbag Village open source hub. And the core team continued building the SketchUp 3D version of the net zero bathroom for the Earthbag Village. This last week, we updated the roof support structure changed the roof from six to eight panels, and made updates to the height of all the inside building walls. In addition, the core team created new Ultimate Classroom and Treehouse Village layouts for the Seven Villages online book, as you can see here. Working with Ashwin Patil, web developer, we also finished final review and updates to the search engines for Village 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 that are already live on the site. Plus, Ashwin added the final missing icons to the education search engine that is also already live on the site. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 20th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was adding additional details and imagery to the presentation. You can see some of this new work here and we'd say we're about 80% done with the presentation now. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 17th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was another round of updates and revisions to the water storage layouts, as shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 75 of Dean's work, this week's focus was textures, lighting, and column and stairway details. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 47th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was continuing to add pergolas to the layout, as shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. 
What you see here is her 29th week of work, focusing on more development of the east-west zones, as well as the north outdoor dining area. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders. What you see here are initial renders of the game room structure and beginning to lay out and test render multiple buildings. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued work on the DIY pipe furniture tutorial page. This week, we created seven new images for the diagram section, and we created a collage for the instruction section. The team also created the file downloads image and worked on adding text to all the sections. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 39th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was continued lighting testing with the social dome, as shown here. Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, also finished his final round of image additions and references research for the wind power tutorials developing behind the scenes. You can see some pictures of this work here. Bomsi Pulagurtha, mechanical engineer, also completed this initial thermal lag report for the city center heating and cooling open source hub. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team did the calculations and created an image for the storage details for all the bulk goods on the food self sufficiency transition plan page and added the image to the page, as you can see here. We also put another 10 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on the hexier framing materials watershed, coated Torx screws, tarp and deck block for the transition kitchen structure. We also researched the joist hangers, tarps, and LED string lights. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the community lesson plan and the cooperation and collaboration lesson plan. This brings us to 32 of 52 finished, which is approximately 62% completion. The core team also added the new projection dome image to the Ultimate Classroom page, built new menus, and updated the formatting for that page. And we began the research and content creation for the open source school licensing and accreditation tutorial as shown in this collage of the work happening behind the scenes. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Samya Manohar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, implemented the post functionality and resolved a diversity of related errors for the highest good network software we're developing. You can see some of the behind the scenes work on this here. Vivian Rodriguez, translator, also joined the team and translated our Solutions That Create Solutions page to create a new and complete page in Portuguese, some of which you can see here. Well, there you have it. That is one week of our progress and accomplishments working towards replicable, highest good sustainability for everybody. If you like what you've seen and you'd like to follow our progress, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like to see more details, more specific links to all of our open source content, all of our free shared content, everything that I've talked about in this update, you can visit our written blog or just visit our website. Also, if you'd like to uh, follow our progress through social media, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on LinkedIn and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to not only follow our progress, but to share our progress. So this is a great time to say, Thank you for everybody who likes our videos. Thank you for everybody who shares our content. Getting the word out, finding more and more people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, people that want to participate, people that want to help, 
And if you'd like to help, visit our website, visit our helping page, get involved. There's lots of different ways to do that. And the easiest one is sharing our information. So if you're somebody who shares our information or has hit the like button on this video or anything else that we've shared, we say thank you for that. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the comments we get. Thank you for the donations, small donations, medium donations, the occasional large donation really keep us moving forward because as 100% unpaid staff, all of those donations go to our operating expenses, to keeping one community moving forward, to covering our website expenses and everything else associated with running a global organization like ours. So thank you. In whatever way that you are participating with our project, we are grateful. And of course, thank you for watching till the end. Till next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks again.